Welcome to this daily office with the Iona community, which is taken from the Iona Abbey worship book. The service follows the form of morning prayer which we use on Iona, and so there are different prayers and psalms each day, and, over the course of each month, a cycle of prayers for the world, for different communities, and for the concerns of the Iona community. The service is interactive and you are invited to join with the responses, psalm and prayers. You'll see all the words you need on the screen. Through the week you will also hear different voices, those of staff, of members, of associates and of their families responding along with you. The world belongs to God, the, the earth, earth and, and all, all its people. people. How good it is, how wonderful, to, to live, live together, together in unity. unity. Love and faith come together, justice, justice and, and peace, peace join hands. hands. If Christ's disciples keep silent, these, these stones would shout aloud. Open our lips, O God, and our, and our mouths, mouths shall proclaim your, your praise. praise. Move among us, God, give us life. Let, Let your, your people, people rejoice, rejoice in you. you. Give us again the joy of your help. With, With your, your spirit, spirit of freedom, freedom sustain, sustain us. us. God, make our hearts clean. Restore, Restore us in body, body mind, mind and, and spirit. spirit. Let us pray. Trusting in God's forgiveness, let us in silence confess our failings and acknowledge our part in the pain of the world. Before God, with the people of God, I confess to turning away from God in the ways I wound my life, the lives of others and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. Before God, with the people of God, we confess to turning away from God in the ways we wound our lives, the lives of others, and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. So now, as Jesus taught us, we say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our day bread, 
and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us in the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. With the whole church, we, we affirm, affirm that we are made, made in God's, God's image, befriended, befriended by Christ, Christ empowered by, by the Spirit. With people everywhere, we, we affirm, affirm God's, God's goodness at the heart of humanity, humanity planted more deeply than all that is wrong. With all creation, we, we celebrate the miracle and wonder of life, the unfolding purposes of God, forever at work in ourselves and the world. Out of the depths I cry to you, O God. Open your ears and give me a hearing. If you, O God, took note of our sins, who could hold their head high? But you have chosen to forgive, and for this we reveal you. I wait for God. I wait in hope. My soul waits for my Maker, more than those who wait for the morning more than those who look for the dawn. Hope in God, you faithful people. Trust in God's constant love. God's power to liberate brings redemption from every sin. Listen now in the reading of scripture for the word and wisdom of God. The reading is taken from Acts chapter 7, verses 9 to 16. The patriarchs, out of jealousy, sold Joseph into slavery in Egypt, but God was with him and rescued him from all his troubles. He gave him wisdom, which so commended him to Pharaoh, king of Egypt, that he appointed him governor of Egypt and of the whole royal household. When famine struck all Egypt and Canaan, causing great distress and our ancestors could find nothing to eat, Jacob heard that there was food in Egypt and sent our fathers there. And this was their first visit. On the second visit, Joseph made himself known to his brothers and his ancestry was disclosed to Pharaoh. Joseph sent for his father Jacob and the whole family, 75 persons in all, and Jacob went down into Egypt. There he and our fathers ended their days. Their remains were later removed to Shechem and buried in the tomb for which Abraham paid a sum of money to the sons of Hamor at Shechem. For the word of God in scripture, for the word of God among us, for the word of God within us. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Christ is the world in which we move. Christ are the folk we summon to love. Christ is the voice which calls us to care. And Christ is the one who meets us here. To the lost Christ shows his face. To the unloved he gives his embrace. To those who cry in pain or disgrace, Christ makes with his friends a touching place. Feel for the people we most avoid, strange or bereaved or never employed. Feel for the women and feel for the men. Who feel that their living is all in vain. To the lost Christ shows his face. To the unloved he gives his embrace. To those who 
in the rhythms of our lives, in times of joy and celebration of success and happiness, you are the strong downbeat pulsing through us. God, in the rhythms of our lives, in times of separation and loneliness, in introspection and stilling, you throb your presence. God, in the rhythm of our lives, at the crossroads, those turning points, the decisions that take us to new places, then you whisper into our ears. God, in the rhythm of our lives, in those moments of profound loss, when we are heartbroken and inconsolable, still you tick like a gentle clock, holding our pain. God, in the rhythm of our lives, in the daily living of rising, cleaning, eating, within these regular patterns of our living, you walk beside us as a warm friend. God, in the rhythm of our lives, in the interactions between every age group and the beautiful diversity of global heritage, you sing for joy at our welcome of each other. God, in the rhythm of our lives, in times of illness, with treatment, surgeries, working with healthcare professionals, you are the constant, the healer of healers. God, in the rhythm of our lives, in those standout moments where we suddenly know that heaven is always reaching to earth to be with us, we give thanks. We pray for our own commitment to social and political action for justice, peace and the integrity of creation, victims and perpetrators of violence everywhere. And for the countries of Papua New Guinea, Solomon Islands, Australia, Antarctica, Vanuatu, New Caledonia and Fiji and for the members belonging to the family group of Northumbria, Moira Copeland, Fiona Fidgen and Lynn, Sarah Moon and Alan, with Cara, Onwain, Aidan and Jenna, Jim Robertson and Helen, Louise Taylor Kenyon, 
Dick Toy, Marion Toy. On the 17th day of this month, we pray for associate members in England South East, London. Walk with them today, O God, and keep us on your way. O Christ, the Master Carpenter, you at the last, through wood and nails, crafted our whole salvation. Wield well your tools in the workshop of your world, so that we who come rough-hewn to your bench may here be fashioned to a truer beauty of your hand. Amen. This is the day that God has made. We, we will rejoice and be glad in it. We will not offer to God offerings, offerings that cost us nothing. nothing. Go in peace to love and to serve. We will seek, seek peace, peace and, and pursue it. it. In the name of the Trinity of love, God, God in community, holy and one.